preschool teachers are given the title of babysitters, nannies. They are not professional teachers in that sense. So am I going to be like a daddy daycare kind of thing? <laughs> I'm Shane, 31, and I'm a preschool teacher. Here are some stereotypical statements from the internet, and I'm here to comment on them. So traditionally, females were the nurturers, and males were the stabilizers. Although females are the nurturers, males also do their part in nurturing. Like in the wild, the male lions actually teach the cubs how to hunt, take prey and eat, and take the hierarchy as well. So I don't think it's just a, a female thing. Kids require motherly love, attention and affection which can only be provided by a female teacher. Hmm, I think that's not really true. Both male teachers and female teachers can do the same. And in fact, a male teacher can give them a different kind of uh, affection. Like a fatherly love, more than a motherly love in that sense. Because kindergarten teachers are paid peanuts and men, don't work for peanuts. I think we all work for peanuts because we need to put food on the table. Yes, it's true that in our sector, the teachers are not being paid as high as those in the other sector like marketing or financial district. But the government is making changes to it. Recently, we can see that there's a pay increment for the teachers in preschools. I actually never thought of being a teacher at the very beginning. I wanted to be a scientist when I was young, but as time passed, I realized that I have a keen interest in interacting with children. So I actually served in the children ministry. As I saw them grow in Sunday school, I got interested and I actually started to look for alternatives like a full-time job. And that's when my friend introduced me early childhood. So I actually did a mid-career switch when I was 23. When I shared it with my mom and my dad, they were surprisingly supportive. I was like, mm. You're not going to comment that you know it's going to be a pay, big pay cut. And my mom actually knows that I do have a passion to interact with children. She and my dad fully supported me uh, all the way from the beginning until now. Back then when I first started, I actually felt that uh, being a male preschool teacher, I would get judged. That people would look down on me being a preschool teacher. Because preschool teachers are given the title of babysitters, nannies. They are not professional teachers in that sense. So I might go be like a daddy daycare kind of thing. <laughs> but then I realized that actually there's more to it, more than just babysitting, more than just playing with children. It's really about helping them grow and meet their potential. When I first took my first class and seeing how a child who refuses to listen to other teachers, but the child actually listened and was more receptive to what I have to share, that was the turning point for me where I felt that, hey, actually I can do something, I can make a difference in the sector. As a preschool teacher, we are trained to be observant because we observe the children quite often during lesson time. So we need to know where are their developmental needs, how we can match their needs through our teaching, how we can support the parents at home with our teaching and things like that. We are, I, hear, I hear my kid crying. There's always that few that always cries. <laughs> and they always cry the same way. <sighs> it's a bit like how lions can tell the difference between is it my cups or is it someone else's cups by the cry. So it happens. When I first joined, um, parents were very concerned and they asked my bosses, are you sure you want to hire a male teacher? Is this male teacher really safe? The word pedophile came up. But as I progressively worked through with them, parents are actually much more open. And in fact, a lot of parents are actually encouraging me and saying that, you know, we need more male teachers in the sector. It helps bring a different kind of uh, flair and perspective to the children. Because you don't just interact with the ladies, but you also interact with the guys. I feel that gender is not the most important thing. The most important thing is what you can bring to the children of the next generation, what you can teach to the children of the next generation. Be it your male teacher, be your female teacher, each we have our own strengths and we are able to present a different side of the coin. So having both male and female teachers actually helps to let children see the full coin rather than just one side of it. In my seven years in the sector, I've noticed that more and more preschools are actually willing to hire uh, male teachers. But there are still centres that would rather hire female teachers compared to male because of just simply the job description. Like, I've heard a principal that just straight up say, no, I'm not going to hire a male teacher simply because he can't do showering at all. I think I don't need a teacher like that. So I'm glad that I have a good support group here in Little Mighty Me. 
to actually help me through the challenges I face, be it managing children or managing parents. And I'm part of this community called Men's in Preschool. We actually a group of male preschool teachers that started and then through that we actually liaise with a few hundreds of male teachers in the sector to interact, to bond also to share experience. So we have teachers ranging from principals to senior teachers to even just beginning teachers. Sometimes what they experience may not be shared or felt by the female colleagues and with this support group we actually help them to go through it and, and to overcome certain obstacles that they face at work. To all those parents and to all those principals who, who feel that hiring male teachers is not a good thing, you are losing out. Hiring a male teacher will give you a different perspective in how things can be done in school and that will ultimately benefit you guys. Every child develops differently. They develop at their own pace. We don't rush them to meet other people's pace. So one of the most difficult challenges I've faced so far is actually uh, learning how to handle children with needs because the entire sector is going towards inclusion. So when I first handled them, I found it really difficult because at first I didn't understand the child. But with time, with support from my colleagues, my principals, you know, they actually taught me how to work with these children, how to help them through and grow together with them. Being a teacher itself is a fulfilling job. I spend just about as much time as their parents do and when I see them achieving a milestone that they previously couldn't, that just fills my heart with joy. I say, yes, you finally did it! You know, and it was the kind of joy that kept me going. Society is changing, the environment is changing. Being able to keep up with it actually helps me to better prepare children for the future. I think the three attributes that makes a good preschool teacher is empathy, or never give up attitude, and a positive mindset. Because sometimes things can look very bleak or very difficult during situation. Especially for a male teacher, we face tough times in a different aspect. For all the males who are interested in joining but hesitant, I would say be courageous and take that leap forward. That step of faith will actually bring you so much joy and so much fulfillment in your life that you cannot imagine doing anything else. At first, I was very hesitant as well, but once I stepped in and I realized that, hey, wow, this brings me so much joy that I cannot think of anywhere else I want to be or any job, other job I want to do.